It is Jeremy Markovich from the NC Rabbit Hole. Follow him at Definitely a Name and at NC Rabbit Hole. Jeremy, what's going on, man? Uh, not much. How are you? I'm doing well. I don't know if you caught this trend yesterday, but all of our uh, groundhogs and other animals who may or may not predict weather are like peacing out. I don't know if they're unionizing for better benefits, but they're they're not working. There was only one, Sned or somebody down in Garner, and I feel like the rabbit uh -huh. hole needs to look into this. Yeah, they all. I mean, I mean, like it's it's like they're apparently there must have been some kind of buyout where like they all could like they all just took the buyout. Sure. And they've all retired or, or something like that at the same time. So I, I don't know what happened, but there's like far fewer like groundhogs that are doing it. Like maybe like you know like the Groundhog Corporation is going through some downsizing and they got to get rid of a lot of them. So and, and apparently there's an armadillo somewhere that uh, that predicts. So I just I want I want you to use your sources to look into the the animals that are supposed to do things for it. Whether it's we got ones on New Year's Eve that I know you've written about, and now we've got groundhogs that apparently are retiring or you know. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Uh, you watched ho hockey with the governor. I know you joined uh, uh, Joe and the OG. I was going to say Joe and Joe. You joined the OG on 99.9 The Fan. So I'm going to ask you some different questions than, okay. uh, than they asked you. Uh, first, how do you how do you watch a hockey game with the governor? Do you just like hang out around the mansion on Blunt Street around like 6 o'clock on game day and, and uh, hope he's going? Or uh, how, how do you make that happen? Uh, you ask. I mean, you know, you never know what you're going to get unless you ask. So I, I had been curious for a very long time about about what it would be like to watch a game with, with Governor Roy Cooper, if only because um, he seems like in public a straight-laced, you know, not super emotional, kind of low-key, you know, not going to surprise you with like a soundbite kind of a person. And um, I'm like, the only place where he seems to be, like, peaked, like, where he kind of turns it up to 11 is when he's watching Carolina Hurricanes games. Like, like he tweets about the Hurricanes a lot. He would wear a Carolina Hurricanes mask during COVID. Um, he he trash-talked Brad Marchand from the, Buff the, the Boston Bruins. So I'm like, is, is he, like... Is this a thing where he's going to watch hockey and just come totally unglued during the game? Like, what is that? Act? Like, I, I genuinely didn't know what it would be like to watch a game with him. I just thought it would be very, very interesting. And so I started asking and I asked. And eventually, um, you know, once I convinced them that, you know, I was like a legitimate reporter who was interested in this <laughs> from that standpoint, um, then <laughs> they were like, yeah, let's do it. So let's, you know, why don't you come to the arena? Um, he's going to be actually on the air last friday night he was on the air with uh mike and, and, and trip calling the you know part of the first period of the game so you can be there for that you can talk with him you can sit in the box for a little bit and then uh and then you can go on your way and you can see what that's like and and that is exactly what's happened um jeremy markovich joined us from the nc rabbit hole was there any security clearance like did a did you like he, i know he's not the president but you know he's a governor and there seems to be some security around him did you get patted down or did they have to like ask you know call anybody on background on you oh well i mean he knew he knew about me he was asking like he's like hey so uh do you like you know what, what's it like to be like a whitewater rafting guy and i was like well i haven't done that for 12 years but um somebody had told him something that that was in my background so like they had vetted me um i knew that sure. and, and he was surrounded also by uh, his his two bodyguards were very nice. They had very large hands, as you might expect a, a, you know bodyguards to do. Um, but you know, like they did this, and also you know, I, I had a, a photographer that came, came with me as well to take some pictures, which are, which I thought were were, were great because you just see on his face like the joy and the agony of watching uh, you know a Canes game. Uh, it was really evident, and uh, they yeah. So we we both went in, but like once we'd already done that. Um, the funny thing was, so so if you're a longtime Canes fan, uh, you probably may remember Ron the Ref, yeah, yeah. Um, Ron Viscotti, and uh, who you know was the in-game host for many, many, many years. Well, Ron's now working; he does security for the arena, and he was actually sort of the guide that that took us where we needed to go. So we came to the VIP entrance, went up to the the broadcast booth, and then went down to a private box. And, and so Ron, Ron is there. And of course, you know, Governor Cooper is like, hey, Ron, hey, buddy. He's like, Ron the ref. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You going to rep that alumni <laughs> game? Like, like he is like has recall for for 
everything. And like, you know, you can just tell like Ron's face just lit up. He's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. this is cool. This is cool. All right. A couple other questions. Um, did, uh, did, do you, did he go off the record with you at all? Obviously I won't make him make you tell me, but at any point did he say, Hey, either I want to cuss at a player or I just want to tell you something, but I don't want to part of the interview. Did he go off the record at all with you? He, he did not. He, um, you, you, he did not cuss. Uh, he did not, he, he never lost, he never like lost it during the game. Right. Um, you know, I was there when the, the Canes scored the first goal and he was in the middle of saying something and just like, yeah, yeah, he jumped up and he's on his feet, he's clapping and he's excited and he would lose his train of thought quite a bit. He'd be talking about one thing and then something on the ice would happen and he would just, just stop and just react to it. Like sure. He, he genuinely wanted to watch the game and talk hockey. It wasn't like he was like, hey, so while I got you here, let me tell you about this 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 initiative that we have going on, and right. i got to push this through the General Assembly. Like, no, 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 no. He, he genuinely just wants to talk about, like, the salary cap and the trade deadline and, like, the Martinook line and all of this stuff that is, that is around the Canes. And the only thing that he told me uh, that I, at least – I. It wasn't off the record, but it was. It was. I was just verifying that he wasn't doing other things off the record. Is I asked him, I'm like, hey, you know, he he had just told me the story about how he, his daughter, uh, a long time ago, wanted to bring the sign uh, into the arena, and the sign said, "Ref, you suck." And <laughs> and he's like, maybe maybe instead of focusing on the person, focus on the action. And so she's like, oh, okay. And then she made another sign that said, "Bad call, ref." And then then she brought that to the arena, and it worked. He's like, that's good parenting. And I said, yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but then you tweeted at Brad Marchand, you know, from the Boston Bruins and, and you know, said some, you trash talked him on Twitter. Chirped him. And he started laughing really, really, really hard. He was like, yeah, well, he deserved it, and I'd do it again. He- and I asked him, like, Governor, do you have a burner Twitter account Ooh. that you, like, are, like, make, like, you know, tweeting out like hot takes about the canes that you would never say he said, no 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 <laughs> he said i i only have he's like i have my roy cooper nc account that's my personal account i type everything he's like, anything i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it there so so at least i have asked him on the record if the governor has a burner, burner account that he yeah. uses to to tweet out hot sports takes during canes games and the answer from him is no uh, well, you, you may have qualified. To, you you should have just stopped with, do you have a burner account? Maybe we, yeah, we, we got even more. That. But yeah, yeah. Once, he was like, no, I do not have a burner account for cane stakes. Anyway. Not for uh, cane stakes, yeah. <laughs> Jeremy Markovich, NC Rabbit Hole. Uh, last two questions. One, did you bone up on your hockey for like sitting with him? You were like, oh, man, I got to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I did. I did. I tried. So I, I really was like, okay, I need to learn, you know, what's going on with them. I read, you know, I, I read the athletic, I, I'm aware of what the Canes are doing, but I, I just can't watch them every single night. So I, I, sorry, Kaniacs. Like I really, I really want to be with, okay. there with you, but also. Kaniacs are accepting. You know, Kaniacs are accepting. They, they, they'll take you on at the playoffs, yeah. mid season, whatever game you can watch. They're fine with that. Yeah, you know, the, I'm sorry. The ESPN black, ESPN plus blackout is real. Yeah. So I apologize for that. But I'm, you know, I, I've watched a lot. I've been there. I know, the, I know the the movers and shakers. I know what's going on. I knew I was not going to be like an expert, so I just didn't even try. Uh, but he very much is. Like he he is talking about like high level stuff. And one of the things that he says is, you know, I'm the governor. I'm very busy. I would hope that he's very busy if he's the governor. I hope sure. he's not like I got nothing but free time. Um. But he says, like, I have to, like, watch the game. I have to speed it up. Like, I have to, you know, do the thing where I'm, I'm fast-forwarding it through all the commercial breaks sure. and through the ice and calls and that sort of thing. And so, um, but, yeah, I mean, I will gladly admit that the governor knows much, much more about the Canes than I do. Um, he, is, he is into it. He is he really, really cares. All right, then final question for you. And Mick Mixon used to always tell me he hates it when I ask him questions that ask, you know, to say what another person thinks. I totally believe that Roy Cooper – is a Canes fan. No, I do not think this is an uh-huh. act, right? But at yeah. some point, is there any part of you that wonders, was this a political decision to avoid, he knows he's a UNC grad living in Raleigh, to avoid playing the I love ACC basketball tap dance or whatever, picking the Canes as to be a, let me let me kind of, yeah, I'll show up at the Final Four, but I'm not going to really be a UNC fan. I'm going to be a Canes fan. Do you think that was a political decision that he made uh, from the start? I, I, I don't 
I don't think so. I just think it, it became this like thing that happens when you find something that's really interesting that you've never heard of before. Like he grew up in Rocky Mount, Rocky Mount, sixty five years ago. Yep. There has never been and is no ice rink in Rocky Mount. <laughs> sure. No. Um, you know, maybe there should be one, but there is not. He did never played hockey. Um, and even when the Canes came to Greensboro, he's like, he didn't go, he wasn't like, oh yeah, this new hockey team, I'm totally in. He was the state uh, senator, I believe, back then before he became attorney general. Um, I, I think it is genuine. And I also think that um, he basically, like, it, it, it's not one of these things where like, okay, like, like the Super Bowl is going to come up. And so inevitably what's going to happen is you're going to have two mayors that are going to make some really cheesy right, bet. Yes. And like, you know, well, I'm the mayor of Kansas City and I will agree to send barbecue to <laughs> right. like, like uh, whatever. Oh, well, my team is definitely the best. And I think Andy Reid is going to, to, to like, no, like it, like that's not real fandom. Like he genuinely cares. He does not want to go there to do business. He does not want to do any of that other stuff. He really, really cares about the team. And the only thing that he said about UNC, so he is a UNC grad. Um, and, um, you know, I, I was talking about Wake Forest, um, and, and he said, okay, well, you know, my, 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 my father went to Wake Forest back in the day, like back, like it's either like right before, or right after the, the university moved from actual Wake Forest to sure. Salem, he says, um, so he's like, he went back to like a 50th reunion. His dad did. And there's all these long winded speeches and, uh, his dad gets up and he said, he's like, I hate to admit that my two sons graduated from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I hang my head in shame. And he <laughs> sat back down and got a standing ovation from the, the Wake Forest crowd. <laughs> it was the shortest speech that just dissed UNC, um, and, and he, he brought the house down. So uh, obviously Roy Cooper went to UNC. I'm sure he has feelings there. I'm sure he's not going to wade into what is the best team in North Carolina, um, but his his father is on record of of saying that you know obviously Wake Forest is the superior university. And, in North Carolina. and apparently, trash talking runs in uh, Roy Cooper's family. His dad's got it really some does. Spice. Uh, Jeremy Markovich, check out his whole article on watching hockey with the governor and all the great things he does at the NC Rabbit Hole. One of the coolest storytelling platforms you'll find if you are a North Carolinian, long time, just moved here. You'll find cool stuff. Check out his site. Follow him on Twitter at definitely an A. And you check out the NC Rabbit Hole. Subscribe and pay money. I do. It's worth it. Um, Jeremy, thank you so much. We'll talk soon, my man. All right, take care.